do I feel like I have unfinished business? Sorry. Sorry I'm a couple months late. Whew. Forgive me for that. Hey guys, how's life? My name is Jan Crunch and welcome to the long overdue, well-deserved, world-renowned Q&A! You guys have been waiting for this for such a long time, and you guys have deserved it for such a long time, but today is a very special day. Today is a special day because whenever I decide to upload this video, this will be the 100th video on the YouTube channel! Yay! So to celebrate, I think it's finally time I give you what you deserve. The questions that you wanted me to answer months and months and months ago. The first question to be read on today's Q&A session is, I think it's pronounced Wombat. What ice cream can I get when we all go out to eat? You have every choice in the world. You can pick any ice cream. You can pick garbage flavored ice cream for all I care. Car flavored ice cream, Donald Trump flavored ice cream, I don't care. You can have any flavor except for one. There's one flavor that's too sacred, it's off limits. The Philly cheese steak flavored ice cream. Heaven on a cone. Dom Diddy Dom asks a very important question. What the Watch your profanity. Is the Dr. Cornelius Smarticus thing, and why did you do it? To be frank, I had no idea that people were gonna like that video so much. And it's not that people liked it, it's that a lot of people do not know the difference between a banana and a plantain. And I had that as one of my tags, and YouTube is all like, Hey! Suggested video! This dude apparently knows the difference between a banana and a plantain. This just shows the corruptness of the YouTube algorithm. But I did that video mainly because I was bored. I didn't want to do another regular gaming video. I didn't want to do a story time with Queen Venus. And I was like, I have a suit. I have glasses. I can have a monotone voice. So, why not? I think I also may have been a little behind on schedule that day, so I don't know if I wouldn't have had time if I didn't do that, but that was a quick video that I could get out and look at it now. It's the number one most viewed video on my channel, which is crazy. The Bacon Factory asks a very valid question. On a scale of 3.2 to 74.07, how much do you like bacon? Banana isn't allowed. Dang it, I was gonna vote banana. Why do you do this to me, Bacon? Why? But to be honest, Bacon is the greatest thing in the world, so I rate it Bacon out of Bacon. The next question comes from Rachel Shy Shy. Try to end that five times fast. Rachel Shy Shy, Rachel Shy Shy, Rachel Shy Shy. <laughs> Have you ever heard of BFDI? Long story. I recorded this video before and the camera decided to flop, but I remember searching this on this very device. It stands for Battle for Dream Island, and I had no clue it existed up until now. But I didn't hear of it until you told me, so thanks. Official Silly Poo says, So long as whale. Okay, I have a question for you. Dry Pickle asks three questions, and I'm only going to answer two because one of them is completely outdated. The first question I'm going to answer is, I know your name is Jack, and I get the gaming part, but where did the wrench come from? Okay, okay, this is a big secret, you guys. My name is a Jack. But in all seriousness, my name is not Jack. The name Jack Wrench actually came from a character I invented in history class. I was bored one day, and I drew him. I have the first drawing of Jack Wrench somewhere. It was a crude and terrible drawing, but it had mubbers on it too. Those little guys that you see at the top of the YouTube page, yeah, those are mubbers if you didn't know. I think I actually drew mubbers before I drew Jack Wrench, because I was like, oh look, it's a bunny rabbit robot. Let's make a bunny rabbit scientist! And now you know the true origin story of Jack Wrench. Our next question is from Battlefielding. When are you getting a cool intro? So by cool intro, I'm assuming you mean something like this. question would be never. If I'm ever gonna get an intro, I would probably make it myself. But I'm not really a big fan of those pre-generated intros that are like, Hey, insert your text here. We do the rest! Lord Minion 777 a big YouTuber, has one of those. And every time I see it, it annoys the poo out of me. I'm just like, ugh! And other onomatopoeias. 
Bill Angel asks, have you ever watched Jekyll and Hyde the musical? I know it's probably a sin to say this, but no, I haven't. I haven't watched any of it. I've heard of the concept, it sounds awesome, I haven't watched it. I know, I'm a terrible human being. And I saved the greatest question for last from Dry Pickle. I answered it in a comment below, but I'm going to address it in this video. Wow, how did you get so many subs so fast? Honestly, not a clue. Uh, somebody told me that they grabbed a lot of their friends and dragged them in, but over a two day period, 24 people dropped a sub. And I was like, wait a second, that's not what the analytics normally do. This isn't normal, it's a spike, it's ripping the time space continuum, everybody's gonna die. But really, the only explanation for all this is because of you guys. You guys are the reason that I made it to 100. You guys like the video. You may subconsciously not realize it, but that goes to your Twitter. Your Twitter reaches out to other people that follow you. Those people then like, and the cycle continues. But I would not be where I am today, sitting on this stool, in this room, in this house probably, if it hadn't been for you guys. Seriously, one of the key reasons we moved here is so that I could have my own closet to record stuff in. Really, that was one of the very, very, very vital reasons we moved to this house and not another one. You guys are the reason that I have so much support in what I do, and you guys are honestly really patient, seeing as I'm a <coughs> few months late to this whole Q&A thing that I promised to do ages ago, and already seeing how unreliable I am. You guys stick with it, and you're the greatest thing that ever happened. So I've made a hundred videos, and the real reason I have stuck with it for so long is because of you guys. So in reality, we're not celebrating the 100th video, and we're not even celebrating the 100th sub. We're celebrating your support! Woo! Hooray! So thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for all that you do to me on a day-to-day -day basis, whether it's dropping a sub, leaving a like, commenting down below. I don't know, and I don't care. You all help me so much through all the trials and the troubles and the struggles and the wobbles. So thank you guys for all the support over this YouTube channel's lifetime. The next milestones are 200 subs and 200 videos. Maybe I'll get a Q&A up in time then. What? Thank you for all your support, all of your help over my lifetime on this wonderful world of YouTube, and I will see all of you in the next video. So long!